Hello, and welcome back to Trails Through Daybreak. So, in the last episode, we went around and did the nighttime NPC updates, had a side quest, and then went to the dojo uh, over over there and got a surprise encounter with President Rocksmith. Turns out he lives there now, and we got a lot of just random little updates about uh, certain things. Van still isn't talking about his past yet, but he, he opened up a little bit. A little bit about his master, and it turns out that his master is Father Barkhorn, who is also Gaius's, you know... He was originally, I believe, the eighth? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, he was originally the eighth Dominion before passing that on to Gaius. Uh, we've seen him, though. We've, we've seen him alive. So somehow, Father Barkhorn is not dead. Actually, what did they, what did they actually, what's his first name? I just keep wanting to say Father Barkhorn. Uh oh, uh oh. It's there was a lot of dialogue here. There was there was a lot of dialogue. There it is, Gun Gunther, Gunther. Okay. There's. It was gonna kill me if I didn't remember that. All right, so we have to do NPC updates. Oh yeah, uh, and, and you may and the uh, Genesis lit up and suddenly you may's missing. Her eyes glowed. Pink-ish, and, and she's, she's just suddenly gone now. So we have to go find Yume, which is very important. We need to do it right away, but also uh, we have to talk to NPCs. I'm sure you're very worried about your child. We've contacted the Tourism Bureau and the police. Our inn's employees of, will, of course, be helping you search, and we'll be ready to help safeguard her once she returned. And I'll go contact a few of my acquaintances as well. I just do hope we find her. Me too. Hello. I mean, we will. But... Ah, oh, shit. I think I missed my chance. That's unfortunate. I don't know if we're going to get another chance at this. This might be permanently lost. It's fine. It's fine. I noticed that after I recorded and saved over the previous episode, so... <laughs> shit. No, I finished repair, just re finished repair. La, 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 la. Wow, I just finished morning prep, but I hear a child's gone missing. The inn is helping search too, so I guess I'll ask our provisioners and other folk I know if they saw anything. Aside from that, I hope I'll hope and trust that she'll be found safely and get something warm ready for her return. Jesus, I'm uh trying to rush rush to save her apparently that's how it goes talking a little too fast all right we're still a bit short for that one anyone up here no okay in here I've never had the chance to slip into a hot spring right after waking up before but it really warms away the sleepiness we still got some time, so maybe I can scope out a nice, relaxing massage a bit later. This fog, though, is this normal weather for Long Mai? The guidebook did mention the occasional foggy morning. There's fog and fog, though. Yeah. Oh, that's down. Oh, I see. Ah, a morning bath is a wonder. It makes, wakes you right up. It makes you feel vitalized. Especially an outdoor bath. Tasting that morning air while you gaze out at the mountains. Why, I don't have any have the words for it. A shame I'm leaving tomorrow. I'd have liked to spend another night in this wonderful restful place. It's hard to it's hard to talk to people who aren't related to finding Yume right now. <laughs> I just wanna <laughs> It's like that's cool. It's cool. You seen a girl? She's missing. I'm very sorry about your missing child. Our lodge takes full responsibility for this failure of security. Far from providing you with a pleasant, relaxing time, we've caused you such worry. We are all so, so sorry. I've taken the liberty of contacting the poli local police, the Tourism Bureau, and, of course, the Racer Guild. I intend to continue searching myself as well, and pray it to the Heavenly Mother that we find her safe and sound. Was that? I had the inn give me access to the security cameras that observed the area. I'm afraid that while I saw hints of Yume on the cameras, 
I was unable to find anything in the footage that would help us locate her. I, it is curious how she could evade cameras like that. Either way, I'm focusing on gleaning information from what we know. She evaded the cameras? Huh. There's that smell of fog. <laughs> Strange. I hadn't heard of fog being common in this season. Still, this fog's kinda great. Fog, mist, it's all part of the travel experience. This isn't just about here yet, but you know, local shops should try selling the air. They're fogs and whatnot. Uh, souvenirs, right? Bottle it. No. No, that would be ridiculous. Now then, I'm off to take care of the tea plants. I have to do what I can for now, for next year's crop. That fog might have been the th thick as soup this morning, but it doesn't seem to have harmed things much. If I start preparing things now, we'll have an excellent tea th next year too. I'm sorry, sir. I'm looking for a missing child. Have you seen him? Okay then, it's a little early, but I'll get the store open. Need to make sure folks who leave during the day can stop by. But yeah, I heard about a lost child. Gives me the willies, thinking of Eno in that situation. Long is a very safe place, but it's surrounded by mountains and there are real monsters, and not that far from town. My daughter's at home now, but I'm still worried. Maybe I should try to keep a closer eye on her from now on? Hello there! Come again! That's fair. Okay, she's not even over there. Okay, I took a nice warm bath, so it's time for, uh, time for another day of hard work. I'm a bit spooked about this fog, though. I hope the tourists don't get lost. Come to think of it, the tourism bureau was going on about a missing child, weren't they? I'll keep an eye out while I warn the visitors around here. Oh, lady. Do these people know what she looks like? Has anyone mentioned that part? Well, I, I'd better figure out what to get my friends for as souvenirs. The real problem is, those treats I thought would be great won't stay fresh long enough. Drag goods are a bit of a snooze. This is for my girlfriends, so I want to get them something sweet. Now, should I grab a manto or one of those rice-based foods for a quick breakfast? Oh wait, I'd better get, go get souvenirs for my co-workers soon. Can't buy anything that won't stay fresh. Wonder if they've got some dried good goods? Or maybe even a knick-knack or something. Sure. This fog's just awful. I was going to harvest some bamboo near the waterfall, but in this cloud bank, maybe not. The mountain roads get perilous when you can't see well. Plus, I heard that people were seeing strange monsters yesterday. Don't worry, everyone. I'll help you all create some great memories here in town, so there's no need to go out. He's trying. Goodness, the fog is thick. It's not terribly common to see fog like this in the Kunlun Mountains in the season. This season. Yet, it's times like these that sharpen the senses. Enough to feel even the faintest changes in the energy of the land. What? What is this bone-chilling sensation? I've trained here for many years, but I've never felt something like this. Ah, it's no good. I can't get a grasp on it. Well, it's clearly Genesis related. Something crazy is going on. Uh, the mountains in the morning are somehow... Uh, no, no, uh, best not to say anything. The air of this place flowed so well last night, yet now I cannot help but worry. Anyone down here? I heard about your missing child. Sadly, all I can say is that I don't know anything. I can tell you that I've been watching the river this whole time. If she'd fallen in, I'd know. Even the worst aside, the Autumn River can give you a frightful chill. Still, I think we're safe from all that, at least. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on the river for the time being. Come to think of it, the Revolution Festival is coming up next month, yes? The big one in the capital. I've been to the interior of the Republic a number of times but never quite had the time to make it to the festival. I don't have any reason to rush back east, so perhaps I, it would, would make for a good change of pace to go see it this time. That is so unrelated to him talking about the missing child right before that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he mentioned it, at least. 
At this point, I feel like everyone in town should be mentioning it. Hmm, this fog's quite thick. The guidebook didn't mention fog being an issue in autumn. That said, the fog does add a wonderfully mysterious feel to the eastern cityscape. I wonder if this is just phenomenally rare. I wish I'd brought a camera. Ian's already informed the Tourism Bureau about your lost child. I told our staff to contact you if they see her. We'll check all the places we usually see lost children, the storehouses, the unopened shops, places like that. I've got to open up my shop myself, but I'll keep an eye out as far as I can from here. Just tell me if there's anything else I can do. Thank you. Take as long as you need. I'll be waiting for you. Nothing, nothing at the moment. Hmm. I was just ab about to start morning prep, but the kid who was with you has gone missing. My son seemed pretty worried too. I'll be glad to offer any help I can. After all, what is hospitality if not helping visitors feel at peace? I'm proud of all my- It's been a pleasure. Where is your son? Assuming he's looking too and not like doing any guide tours right now. It's very foggy for that anyway. Well then, time to open shop. With this fog, I'm not sure how many customers I'll even get, but still. No point in whining about it. I'll just have to pull the customers in with my voice instead. No one there. Uh, we'll go up here. I heard about the missing child. I've been speaking to people in town and ensuring no st stone goes unturned. Especially with this thick fog this morning. I'm very concerned she might get into a traffic accident due to the awful visibility. We haven't found any sign of her by noon, then, well, it might be time to contact the Border Patrol and have them start searching as well. Well, if anything happens to her, I'm going to be up in arms. I, can't. I think she'll be fine. Probably. I hope. They would never, they would never harm a child in this game. Right. Although they're doing a lot of new experimental things, so... <laughs> mm. I don't know if I'll be staying here in the Republic or going back to try my b best back east, but even with my parents gone. But either way, I have folks who I've forged uh, f friendships with here in the Republic. Realizing that makes it a little easier to keep going, rather than just feeling like it's all hopeless. If I wanted to move on at all, though, I think I need do need to go back home, so I can at least say proper goodbyes to my parents. <laughs> well... Let's see what we've got. Okay. Next month will be the Re Revolution Festival, so I thought I should get home, but this morning I heard something from an acquaintance. Seems they found some kind of rare something or other in the free cities, so of course, I need to rush over there now. My acquaintance in Narasian will introduce me to a guide, so it should work out. I'll just need to be sure to be back. I'm back in time for the festival, and it'll all be another story to share with the kids. Okay. Sounds like the eastbound train is scheduled to depart just before noon. The inn that put me up for the night gave me their best wishes. I've got to do my very best on this one. I'll go out, expand my horizons, and contribute everything I can. Find a child. Long Lai Station. Oh, right. Uh, doesn't the Transcontinental Railroad uh, pass through here? I really doubt you may boarded the train alone, but still. Yeah, that said, it never hurts to ask. It is morning, and it's plenty possible that the fog is disrupting the train schedules, but it still doesn't hurt. Van and Judith uh, talked to the station staff and discovered that, as they had thought, the fog had reduced the train traffic. With few passengers, the staff could confidently say that no one matching Yume, Yume's description had passed the gate. Hmm, our girl is pretty recognizable. If she'd passed through the ticket gate, someone would have noticed, I think. The buses are probably probably aren't running yet, either. Yeah, and this is just a hunch, but I'd bet she wouldn't go outside the range of this fog. Huh? Why, what does that? You. 
Enjoying a romantic rendezvous in the early morning fog? You're involved. A hundred percent. Oh, uh, so I guess this fox shows up during the day too, huh? Uh, 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 wait, you know her? Nah, just someone I ran into last night. I must say, I don't believe this beauty is part of your business trip, is she? Clearly you are a man of high standards. How would you know that? Hmm? Do I recognize you from somewhere, miss? Uh, do you? I mean, and, uh, I mean, you're pretty lovely yourself. That kimono is great. Your hair really goes with the ensemble, too. Do you work with clothes? Oh, no, no. This is a hobby, not work. My normal outfits are far stu stuffier than this. Now, if I may pry, you both seem troubled. Might I ask what's troubling you? Well, yeah, as it happens. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I know that girl, about six or seven years old. She had her hair up in an adorable ponytail. That's her, all right. Did you see her somewhere recently? Hmm, as it happens, I caught a glimpse of her af as I'd finished checking out my lodgings. Out of. About an hour ago. She seems to be having fun, uh, sniffing about the spring's source by the riverside. I was going to approach her, a, a little girl like that, out on her own on a foggy morning. However, she was with some a somewhat older boy, who seemed a, a decent sort. So I assumed he could be trusted. Okay, then, who is the boy? It was Senri, I believe. You may have met him. The boy working as a guide. I recall he spends his time around the souvenir shop. Perhaps you should check there. Much as I'd be delighted to help you further, it seems my train's just arrived. Do forgive me, hmm? What? Thank you for your patience. The uh, Edith-bound passenger train will be arriving momentarily. Due to the fog, the number of departures has been reduced. We advise passengers to ensure you board. Now, you'd best be off to find your girl. Who knows what sort of peril she could get into on a day such as this. This is Long Lie Station. Long Lie Station. The train will be stopping here for ten minutes, all passengers... Um, just who the hell was she? She clearly wasn't some average woman. Worst of all, she didn't feel any need to hide it. Either way, we can just ignore that little question for now. Let's get over to the souvenir shop. We gotta catch that guide kid. Of course, come on, let's hurry. Can you really trust her, though? Like, at all? Last night there was a problem with the eastern rails causing delay. Everything's backed in order, though, so eastbound train traffic should resume this morning. I'm sympathetic to the passengers who got delayed, but it's just a fact of life that you see this happen east of Long Lai every now and then. I gather the rail companies trying to address the issue, but they haven't solved the fundamental problem, unfortunately. That being said, there's quite a number of people in the lurch this time. Last night, a lady from an NGO happened by. Her? Uh, Professor Hamilton's been working to find the cause of the desertification, and is bringing in help. Perhaps the Transcontinental Railroad it still has some hope after all. Yeah, probably. Unless they meant Toa's somewhere secretly hiding around here. That's possible, too. Oh, fan, Judith. Woof. Have you found anything on your end? We've been having Zeros uh, run around in search mode, but have, we've had little luck. We were just talking about that, as well as updating the Bracer Guild with our findings. I got some eyewitness testimonies, but it's not enough to go on yet. If I can find a little more, we can look it over. Sounds like you're a bust, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we, they have anything yet. We did file a formal request to search for her, though. Between the fog and yesterday's events, I have a very fa uh, fad, bad feeling about this whole thing. As it happens, Cousin and Gray are out on morning patrol. I did contact them, but, ah, Cousin's back. No good, Drusilla. I went all the way out to the waterfall and found nothing. No oh, good, you're here. That makes this easy. Unfortunately, all I can say is there's no sign of your girl up to the waterfall. 
You came to that conclusion quickly. Any proof? Oh, come on. You know me. I was born and raised in the mountains. There's no trace of anyone else in the mountains but me. I even checked the path on my way back. I saw no sign of a child's footprints or any indicator that she was there at all. Naturally, the next step will be to head out to the eastern highway. Well, as you heard, a Gray's trekking the eastern or western highway, for what it's worth. But it does seem like he's found any doesn't seem like he's found any trace of the your girl either. I see. Still, that does limit the number of places she could have gone. If she hasn't been to the waterfall or the highways, then she's either still in town or will continue searching on our end. If she's gone out to town, out of town, the situation could get much worse. If she's not near the waterfall or the western highway, the alternatives are quite a bit more dangerous. I can't help but worry. Either way, we can't just run around with no clues. We need to get more info to focus our search. For sure. Let's keep looking around. At the very least, learning she likely didn't head to the waterfall or highway was worthwhile. But that just returned us to the question of where she did go. If she's somewhere in town, she must be hiding somewhere uh, people wouldn't try to look, right? But why, though? She's definitely not the kind of girl who would hide on a whim for a prank. I'm really worried. Woof. Ger ger woof. And Zeros is also doing an analysis of record record of record data to try to prove <laughs> find traces of Yume. The most bizarre thing is we haven't turned up anything in, on a search mode. Uh, that would be unbelievable under normal circumstances. I see. <sighs> you might not be able to tell, but Kazan's got a real instinct for this sort of thing. I'm confident we can cross out the waterfall, which mostly just leaves uh, searching the highway. Arkwright, I'm sure you understand the situation here in Long Lie. So you leave this to us and go search. Thank you. Alright, no one up here. There were no signs of a kid near the waterfall. Uh, considering our trip out to the mountains last night, I hope you trust my instincts on this, yeah? Either way, I'm gonna go, going out to check the eastern highway. I don't think she'll be out there, but either, but I'll try to find a chance to go out to the area the rookie's covering, too, and help out. Alrighty. Thank you. I like how on top of it they are. Good bracers. Um, this is the souvenir shop, right? Let's go to the other places, because it kind of sounds like that was a good weed. I doubt it advanced anything, but... What is this place? Well, let's say there's someone living out there, retirement here, who knows the land. Thought it might be wise to check in with them. That voice. Or th that voice. You came back, didn't you? Now, now, Cody. That's not a polite way to treat our guests. But surely they came because they have some business... Well, well, Arkwright. Is the person with you... What? what She can't be THE Judith Lanster. Why in the world would a top actress be a, with a Spriggan? Heh. <laughs> Didn't fool him for a second. Sh shut up. More importantly, are you the former President Rocksmith? Why in the world are... Wait, someone living out their retirement? Hmm. I dare say something must have happened, yes? Yeah, if you'll hear me out. He explained. He... Uh, the granddaughter of Mon Mars... Oh. Why are they addressing it like that? Van explained how Yume, the granddaughter of Mar Mar Mon Mar's owner, disappeared mysteriously this morning to Rocksmith. Maybe he knows Mon Mar as well? Goodness, the bistro girl went missing. Hold on, you're from Philly. <laughs> there we go. You're familiar with Mon Mar, Mr. Rocksmith. Oh yes, that shop is quite well known among certain circles. To tell you the truth, I would stop by there for private business sometimes when I, when I was still president. The owner knew who I was, of, of course, but he was happy to turn a blind eye and serve me like just another customer. Man, small world, huh? I guess that would mean you definitely knew m about my office for a while then. <laughs> yes, it does mean that. 
Now, with that said, I'd be more than happy to help find the little lady. I'm afraid to say no, such girl has come anywhere near here. Considering the situation, however, that makes it all the more concerning. I hope this turns out to be nothing more than an ordinary missing persons case, but one never knows. Wait, the situation? What situation? Nah. Well, I'm sure Mr. Arkwright has a sense of it already, but of late, there's been an odd presence haunting Long Lai. Or, say, rather, haunting the entire region of Long Lai. The guild believes it to be an unknown monster, and there's been a number of people who've noticed an unfamiliar presence in the mountains. Oh. I suppose this that isn't the sort of comment you'd expect from a former president, hmm? Let's just say I've seen many things in my time. No, perhaps it would be better to say I had to learn to accept and deal with it. The inexplicable, inexplicable, not long before I retired. <laughs> yeah, no surprise. Probably means the events in Crossbell and the Empire a few years back. Come to think of it, that monster who attacked me yesterday, it definitely didn't feel normal. I guess that wasn't just my imagination. Anyway, at least we can, that makes it clear, long lies in some deeper shit than we thought. We'll go check out, check with other eyewitnesses, but thanks for cluing us in about the weird stuff. You have my best wishes, Mr. Eichwright. If we find or remember something of use, I'll be in touch. I'll go, I'll, I will go get in touch with the various contacts then. If you would, Mr. Eichwright, if, if you would, Mr. Eichwright, if you need help, you have only to ask. Yeah, much appreciated. Thank you strange presence you know i did kind of feel it so does this mean someone else is up to something here even if it doesn't it helps to keep aware of it it could be related to why yume has gone missing anyway we need to collect more info for now N right wait a minute oh we can talk to him i'll be in charge of coordinating our search with the police and the border guard don't worry I may be retired, but as you might guess, I've kept my contacts. Uh, still, though, Long Lai isn't li like other towns when it comes to getting lost. Be careful. I'll also join the search once I've gotten in touch with everyone I can. Mr. Rocksmith seems concerned about the situation around Long Lai. Don't you dare let Mr. Rocksmith g <laughs> Miss Goodwill go to waste, Brigan. Sorry. Sir, I... I just need to find Yume. I'm breathing faster and faster as we go, I swear. Oh, there you are. All right, hold on. Van, Judith, have you found anything? We checked to see if the temple had seen any sign of Yume. We got a bit to go on. Can't say it's all that solid yet. We need a little more. You got anything on your end? Well, we can say for sure she didn't come to the temple. We hit up the other attendees, too. Yes, it seems a girl likely to be your child was sighted early in the morning. I fear that information is now 20 minutes old. Damn, could, could be that... She could have left town then. That would be bad. Even so, knowing what she did after could be critical. You can't run around like headless chickens. We need a clearer picture of what happened. If we discover anything more, we'll be sure to contact you. May the Heavenly Mother guide us all. Yeah, thanks. Longbrain scan found no traces of Yume. No precedent for this failure exists. Theo suggests an update to rel related functionality may be required when the cause is determined. Okay. How bad this fog is, uh, the sighting for 20 minutes ago feels like it's worth piss. Damn it, if we can't find her soon, we're gonna get chewed up and spit out by the old man when we get back. Hmm, if we were playing hide and seek, Yume would be extra good at being sneaky. Not a lot of people saw her though, so that means she can't have gone far, right? The temple staff and I will keep an eye out uh, for your child. The Tourism Bureau and the police are also searching. We will keep in touch with them. I have faith that the Heavenly Mother will guide us. I encourage you not to lose hope. 
We will continue to ask our worshippers about your lost child. If the worst has happened, we'll be ready to help however we can. We can provide a great detail of medical aid. But we pray she is found safely above all else. Oh, Heavenly Mother, please show your wayward child your blessing. All right, and there's no one in here, so that is everyone. That is not everyone. Who is this? Gray! Oh. I saw no sign of Yume on the West Highway. We've got to find her soon. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you by going out on my own last night. I hope by way of apology you'll accept me doing my absolutely absolute best in the search for Yume so I can improve as a bracer. Thank you. I believe in you. You know who's going to find her, though. Judith. That's the important part, because then she'll, she'll have to join Ark Ride after. Oh, there you are. Great, I was looking for you. That girl you've been looking for, Yume, I saw her alone a little while ago, and I was wondering if she was okay. Are you searching for her too? Yeah, our group split up to look for her. And I heard you talk to her for a bit. Any idea where she went? While she was wandering around, cheery as could be, I talked to her for a bit and then she just took off. She was staring at all the things in around town like it was all special. It was hard to follow her. Uh, she seemed different, kinda. And I looked away for one hot second and she somehow disappeared. I'm so sorry I lost her. Hmm, did you notice anything else? Uh, when, you, when did you see her? I wasn't watching the clock, so I'm not sure exactly, but it was right as I started cleaning. So it would have been an hour ago. So he left, she left here and passed the church after. Oh, I don't know if it's any help, but she was carrying a Fontuan around with her. We must have bought it from the stand over there, but she was staring at it like she didn't even know what it was while walking around. That's odd. She was with us when we went by the stand that sells Fontuan yesterday. Sure, but I mean, kids are like that, right? Maybe. I still think we should keep it in mind. Also, you're sure nothing else stood out? Uh, anything, no matter how small. Well, she seemed to be weirdly focused on the Ishgal Mountains to the south. That's where the fog's rolling in from, so I can understand why she was kind of interested in it, but it was still weird. I told her the mountains are off limits right now, and she just smiled and disappeared soon after. Hmm. Sounds like Yume wasn't acting the way she normally does. Need a little more info to compare this to. Okay. She's possessed. She's absolutely possessed. That's not her in there. It's someone that died a long time ago or something. Some ghost that hasn't seen modern long lie, maybe. If they were, like, surprised by everything around them. Maybe that person died at the Ishgal Mountains. And that's why they started heading there. That's my guess. Anyway, thanks a bunch. This might be real valuable. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm just glad to have helped. If I find her, I'll let you know right away. Okay, that's enough info gathering. Doubt we'll learn anything new here. I still have no clue why she's acting like this, though. Maybe it'll all start to make sense when we put our heads together. Let's call the others so we can meet up at the hotel and start hashing this out. It's been a while since I saw Yume. I hope you can find her. For as much energy as she's got, she seemed kind of different when I saw her. Saw her. And, like, not in a good way. I'll bounce from work early and go look with the rest of the tourism bureau. As a guide, I'm pr pretty familiar with the parts of the city where people tend to get lost. Thank you. You've been the most help out of everyone. I have to do one thing. Nope. Take as long as you need. Oh. Okay. Okay, Judas permanent. Gotcha. <laughs> Obviously. And the amount of times I've said that. Um how would you build Judas? Ooh, I oh yeah, I can even upgrade this. Yeah? Okay, she already had her weapon. I'll be waiting for you. Take as long as you need. 
I don't think there's any more drivers for her. Oh, oh, she is a lot open at the moment. Switching the maintenance mode. What is your? Switching the maintenance mode. Switching. How do I? How do I check this? Shit! I think I just hit triangle. Ninety percent chance to absorb magic, and then physical and magical damage up. Okay. She seems to be roughly fairly balanced. Uh, with their stats, as far as physical and magical. They're both kind of, like, tied. Interesting. Switching the maintenance mode. I don't know what what I would give her. I guess I gotta look at her actual stats here. What the... Wait, I can just hit... <laughs> I can just hit left? I'm at, like, 120 hours. I mean, counting... Me ga leaving the game on. I've, <laughs> I've never hit left. Okay. That's me. Okay, this is your magic move. These are two physical moves. Oh, wait. I get to play as normal Judith and Grimcat. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm down for that. But these are all Grimcat moves. What does changing to Grimcat do? Additional magic damage? Does it just do more magic? I think I might build her somewhat magic-y then, based on that. I think that might be the way to go. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, so for now... Oh, you come with these. Uh, it seems like the game wanted to make her physical. Okay, give me a moment. All right, I think I sorted everything out for her for now. We're kind of, you know, I only have so much I can work with. So uh, I opened her slots, gave her an AOE heal and a revive because she seemed to be lacking that stuff. So I want to make sure she has it. Uh, also, Parade did seem like the best bet on which plugin to use. Uh, the rest of the plugins don't seem to be that great. They're very situational. Uh, I didn't have enough to open any of her slots. Nope. Switching the maintenance mode. But I wanted to make sure she at least had something good here, so I gave her Fatal Lance by switching a Defense 2 into there and move Strike Down. I don't know what I'm going for here yet. I think I think I just wanted to get, yeah, Impassion Guard. So I can't really do it yet, but I mean, I can. I'd have to I'd have to switch in like an attack one, but like right now I don't want to spend any more, so I might do that at some point. And currently she has all this stuff with Arc Feather, so a follow up with attack arts uh, seems pretty interesting. And I want to get her Phantom Start two. Two turns of stealth would be great for her, but I need to be able to open a slot for that I think, or just get something better because three fear is. You get three out of fear, and it's just not, it's not enough. Okay, and then that's that. And then in here, all I had was the classic coin and a blue pendulum. So that that's what we're going to use. I want a blue emblem, but I don't have one yet. So, yeah. That's on hold. All right. Let's discuss. And save her. Immediately. Okay, we've hit up everyone we could ask. I think at this point we can pin down Yume's movements. Hmm, the info seems kind of like kind of a mess to me, but you've got an idea, right, Van? Yep, from what the Temple and Senrei said, it's been a while since uh, Yume was last seen. The Tourism Bureau and the Guild were looking into the buildings a child could hide in. However, we were just updated and they found no sign of her. She, so she must have left town. We had the guild check in outside of town. From what we've gathered, she at least hasn't gone off to the waterfall or down the east-western highway. No sign of her at the station either, so she didn't hop on a train. The other possibility at this point would have to be... She headed south on the mountain roads. Wow, that was weird. Mountain roads that lead to into the Ishgal Mountains. 
Holy, the brat had it out there alone? That's where the fog is at its worst, too. It wasn't a second ago. From what Senri said, Yume seemed to be somewhat focused on it. Yeah, can't say why at the moment, but it's our best lead. If that is true, we need to be ready for anything. However, for Yume's sake, we also need to depart as soon as possible. Yeah. Dan? There's just something bothering me. Oh, right, your custom hollow stopped working, right? Wait, that means... Normally, you wouldn't think there'd be a connection. Hard to believe it's a coincidence, though. Ah, Fan, look! Hmm, it's not as strong as a, a reaction as other times, but... Uh, yes, it seems to be vibrating, if only slightly. Could it be a, some, a kind of low power mode? That is quite common on more modern orbments. If this is related to Yume's disappearance, considering everything we've seen to date, we'd better keep it in mind. Sounds like we're all in agreement, at least. Let's get going after her. Wait, why are you... I'm already part of this. Did you really think I'd just say, oh, sorry, good luck on Mountain Hell? Good luck out on Mountain... in Mountain Hell? I mean, I've stuck with you this far. Why would I go dirtling off now? <laughs> And honestly, I've got the power to involve myself. I can't just turn a blind eye to this. <laughs> Pretty badass of you. Okay then, let's see what a proud principal thief, or you know, a kinkster can do for us, huh? W why do you have to go and throw the kinkster bit in there? Ah, just you watch. <laughs> Fine. It would be very reassuring to have you with us, Judith. Anyway, if we're ready, we should get going. We must make sure we're properly equipped, however. Oh. Yeah, there's no guessing what we might find out there. Let's load up for, for bear, everyone. Lo load up for bear? These... These terms. What, what did she say earlier? Dirtling? Dirtling. And, and load up for bear. Okay. I just wanted to look them up. Because that felt really weird. It turns out dirtling is a common term uh, that people use. Basically, basically, it just means to, to just waste time screwing around, doing nothing, uh, which obviously probably fits. But it also means, like, you know, like dragging something out, kind of. And load up for bear is quite obvious, you know. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you know you're going to fight a bear, you load up to... You prepare for a fight. You don't prepare for... Nothing. I've just never heard either of those terms before. So this way leads up to the into the mountains. It looks very scenic, but it's still littered with monsters. If you may really did come up here alone, and we got no time for talking, let's get a move on. The police and the guild have promised to inform us if they learn anything. You're still all good with helping us with this, right? Of course. If we ever need to split up to cover more ground, then the more people we have, the better. I can pull my weight in battle if we run up against any tough monsters, too. Heck, even if it takes me getting into costume again, that's what I'll do. Hmm. No more counting on you. Eh, can't wait to see this ten up close. Can you not look at me with those lust-filled eyes? <laughs> Let's get moving. We're counting on Fio and Saros to support, too. Uh, set your sensor sensitivity to maximum. Following Yume's trail is top priority. Understood. Rough. <laughs> Judith joined the party once more. Permanently. Judith's Grimcat tra craft transforms her into Grimcat during command battles. Additional element damage is then added to her normal attacks and crafts. Oh! Okay. So, she can do the same things, it's just... Okay, awesome. Uh, and it also doesn't cost 200 CP, right? I forgot what it's... 50 CP to... Okay, th perfect. That's not bad at all. Also, I did confirm with, uh... Oh, it doesn't even show up in the menu? I did confirm with his button setup here. No, not button setup, his Grendel setup here, which obviously he couldn't use because Mare's not around anyway. 
maybe that's why it's missing. Um, it just runs out after three turns. I mean, I didn't confirm that, but I counted the turns when I was looking back, and it seems like it's a three-turn thing. It's the same as Reen's uh, form. Fair. It's the spot. Uh, also, we don't want Fairy in here. I'm so sorry, Fairy. I didn't mean that in a bad way. But... Yeah. No. You. Yeah. I got like three... Well, she's not a caster. She just does art damage. Uh, also... You know what? You disperse. Definitely frontline. Alright, how big is this? Mountain range cliffs? Wow. What is all this over here that has no chests whatsoever? What? Oh. Oh, I wasn't even close enough. All right, I gotta play her. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, she's got a one, two, pretty wide one, two, three. She's got Vans kind of dodge and zoop. Interesting. Where's your good move then? I'm guessing this would be her go-to if they were closer. That's not very big. Uh, I think I'd just attack with her. She doesn't have very much range on her moves. Sure. Here's a little more. Ooh. All right, uh, let's see. I don't nice. have enough. I just, want, I just want to see her charge. Then. There it is. Ooh, okay. She pulls out cat claws. Very focused on just in front of her. Wow, that was painful. But pretty wide. Screw it. You are getting employee of the month. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Here's the climax. Grim Knight Wolf. That is a cool one. <laughs> Visually, I... I didn't even break a sweat. A five-star performance, Judith. I love that that one just, just randomly takes you to the city, no matter where you are. <laughs> what is that attack? All right. I can't... I can't tell when that thing's attacking. I didn't even break a sweat. to be the star of the show, eh, Judith? There it goes. Okay. Damn. Uh, I still think Rosette has my favorite charge attack. But this one's pretty interesting. I'm ass I'm assuming this is the last character at this point, right? Can I start Can I start making comparisons, saying who I like and well, not, who I like for certain situations? That went great. Look, Look, there's Long Lai. We sure have walked a long way. Wait, what? Damn! How the hell did that little squirt get this far in? Wait, that's no. I, I there. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, hi. This is the thing that got gray. Nice. Oh, 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 that is so deceiving. It, like, starts swinging its tail and then turns back. You dick. All right. I'm going to show this one more time. And we're gonna skip it because this one's pretty long. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Here's the climax. Grim Knight Wolf. That's a decent amount too. I'm gonna do it again. Boost expand. Your turn. She seems like she could be the status effect uh, queen in this case. That would make that'd be interesting. <laughs> 
build her, build her into debuffer. She did come with burn, fear, and poison, I believe. What? You missed? Ooh, it's frozen. It's dead. I'm just fast forward that. <clears throat> what? Oh, these figures look excellent. That went well, Catra. You have any unique lines with them? I feel like she hasn't even said their name yet. It's like, in the story so far, all Judith has said is like that red haired asshole and. Well, have you ever actually sent Van's name? I don't think she has. Spriggan. I think she just calls him Spriggan. Had to be the star of the show, eh, Judith? Whoa! This is it. Activate shards. Damn. Well, that's the time to gather some data. She's pretty fun to play. Um, that's main story. Okay. Not that they're vastly different. I mean, like. The field combat isn't exactly the, the craziest. It's, it's quite simple. But because it's so simple, it, it's noticeable when, they, when it feels good. Uh, the dodging never feels good, though. Never. No matter what character you're on, I can't tell when these enemies are attacking. Enemy down. Now to deploy shards. Um, so this is a side bonus. This is a pretty good move. If it's double side bonus. And it does a lot of damage. I'm not a star for nothing. A five star Holy performance, shit. Judith. This could get tricky with so many. All right, just, just stun one of them. It's fine. Oh god, I don't know how to not... Yeah, you're gonna die fast if I let any of these stun me. There we go. 200? 200? Oh, This might give her another 100. Oh. I only need her to 100. Ooh, direct upgrade? Switching to maintenance mode. That's a single element slot. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make her somewhat arts user, but status effect, for sure. Skills updated. Although you can only put a few on. Like, uh, they, these only go on weapon and extra, so I'd have to make, like, a good combo on both the top and bottom that would somehow still be status effects and not lose good stuff. Like, eventually, she's gotta get burst gain. Probably. Burst gain would be great. I'm not a star for nothing. That to be the star of the show, eh, Judith? No, oh, wait. Why didn't you pick that up? Gap level three. Okay, more power. I don't know if the recovery time changed. Actually, did those stats change? <laughs> you don't remember. Yeah, they definitely did. It was it was S craft power sixty. I noted it because it was like sixty what, but I don't know about that recovery time. Oh no! Deploying sharks. You have a crit on you. You know what? If I switch to Aaron. Steal it. Hmm? I didn't steal it. What is what, what is the chance of stealing it? Ooh, they're weak to time? Uh-oh. 
Yeah. And then Pluto Nova. <laughs> well, it wasted its crit. Yeah. Dispatching shield. Not painful. There's no way they survive all this. But yeah. Yeah. Well, what'd you expect? That's the last of them, but try and stay calm. We've only just started searching. Still, there's evidence on the ground that she's been this way. Yeah, we got a bunch of tiny footprints making their way up the mountain. R really? <laughs> Affirmative. These uh, footprints are an exact match of those of Yume's. With those of Yume's. Uh, Zeros has also found her scent. Uh, she appears to be proceeding up the mountain in a skipping state. I'm starting to think that somehow Mare came to life and is possessing her now. Because the hollow core is down. I don't know. Y you... You even know when she's skipping. But why? This just makes... This just keeps making less and less sense. That's it there. That's the shot. Probably the thumbnail. It figures this would react now. Do you think it relates to Yume in some way? I think it's more to do with the issue. This issue, to be honest. Feels like we're getting closer by the minute. Hmm. So that and our kiddo acting weird could be related, huh? Indeed, could this involve the Zypha's resonance in some way? <laughs> Is that... a uh, potential garden leader guy? Y you've kind of lost me, but this means we're going in the right direction, right? And there's no time to waste. Yeah, you're right. Let's keep going. Whew. Okay. On to the next. You're quite tenacious, Miss Lanster. And not to mention captivating. Agreed. You were really beautiful in golden blood, too. I was? I mean, of course I was. If only everyone was so easy to please. Hmm. Oh, that's it. See me some nobodies. <laughs> no mercy for you. How much skill. Enough? There's quite a bit of them. Initiating skill. Ooh. Boost gauge expanded. You finished off two? Okay, Something I could probably turn. just kill him like this then. Fire. Ooh. Don't screw with me. Wait, what the hell are you doing? All right, I gotta switch back to wrong character. You... Wait, you can boost people and then throw them away? Oh. Does it stay? Oh my god. Nice. That went great. You're that would be professional then. If it stays, that 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 would be really interesting. Cuz you could boost people, throw them out and then come back and immediately S craft with like four people <laughs> regardless of if you have the boost ready. This doesn't seem like a dead end. Oh damn. Let's get to work. What are you doing way back here? <laughs> it's still, it's still returning to the battlefield. Sure. Right, that does not do that much damage, though. This will do the trick. Oh. Oh, oh. Maybe, maybe this way. There we go. Side. Can I not get double sight on this? Oh. Optical cannon. Bam. I don't like fighting in this tiny hallway. Here's a little more. All you on yes. Yeah, hit him with that. I won't stop here. Hey, 53. I leveled up. See, those ones are e obvious. Because I know when to dodge them. 
I'm scared of Enemy death. I embarrassed myself there. Oh, du double, double thingy. Ooh. That might be as much damage as the rest of Oh, you're stunned. Good. That looks like a nice chest. Hopefully I got some nice data. That went well, Catra. Hmm. Uh-oh, I hit three. Does she have any accuracy on right now? 56%. Most people are at 56. Or these two are. Uh, I'd probably want her to have more accuracy. I, th I think I might directly just upgrade that. Uh, okay. I wouldn't get much benefit by doing this, but that's fine. Plus it gives crit. Switching to maintenance mode. How could I... I wouldn't mind that shield breaker. I'm gonna need a d defense three then. Damn. That's fine. We'll get that eventually. Uh, yeah, which will also benefit this, because as soon as I get a action three... Or anything, I'll be, I'll be at twelve. Yeah, so I could get shield breaker, barrage, and deadly lance. Awesome. This way. Careful! I sense an incredible aura. Oh shit! Shit! Let's get to work. Yeah. Right, let's focus this thing. You've got a charge attack ready. Oh. God, that, that worm. What a weird attack. Alright, you have 200. Here goes, son. Your turn, Judith. Still alive? Initiating skill. There! Catcher, your turn! Activating skill! Oh, that's the wrong one. Alright, aerial blasts. Uh, I can't afford it. Alright, just attack. That was enough. All you on yes. Here's a little more. Hey. I didn't even break a sweat. You sure showed them, Judith. Oh. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> it's above me. You've got a charge attack ready. Kill it. Man, I want to get that to the point where it just one shots them from half health. Just quick stun, enter, leave. He's got quite the stun gauge. Oh, good. I don't have to, like, dash back in for her, her charge attack. It's... It's close to dead. I'm just gonna do that. You have quite a bit of health. I think we're just gonna do this. Best part is if it lives. Oh. I tried to time it right, but nope. Damn. I brought one the night. There's nothing I can't watch. Oh. Now or never. You know the only thing I don't like about this is is her hair. Uh the the way it completely changed like that hair is absolutely mystical. She has a completely different hairstyle. How does that work? It's not that I don't like it. I'm just confused by it. Excuse me. Stop 
right there. That's 150. Oh my god, we're taking like nothing. Initializing drive. Initiating drive. This will kill it. It should be oh. safe for now. That was perfect, Anya. <laughs> so when she leaves at the end of combat, it's just like a glass shard effect, or a glass shatter. Uh -oh. Okay. There we go. We have fought quite a few, few of these at this point. If I run into any more birds after this one, I'll start skipping. Because they do take a minute. I'm sure we'll run into birds. There There seem to be quite a few on this mountain. That was up top. Do, are, do these wrap around to the I'm same thing? You sure What's going on here? Yeah. Like currently, I can't figure this map out that, very, that well. Alright. Oh. Two birds. I didn't even break a sweat. You sure showed them, Jude. Oh, there's a side path up top. No, oh, and fish. <laughs> yes, what you expect? Is, everyone, is everyone good on levels? Are you all even? Rosette. Oh, Rosette. Yeah, everyone's getting the same XP. She's just still farther behind. No hostile targets yes. available. There's no way to like catch her up, is there? Like, if I take people out of the party, they still get full XP out. So, I don't know what you do there. You got a charge attack ready. I guess you just accept she has less. It only affects a certain mindset of people, I guess, uh, in including me, who like everyone to be evenly leveled for literally no reason. A five star performance, Judah. Hi. We're three levels above the enemy anyway. At the moment, we really don't need any grinding. I don't even need to fight all of these. But Judith needs quite a lot of experience. I didn't even break a sweat. In combat to get employee of the month. There. I didn't even break a sweat. You sure showed them, Judith. I have killed all of the birds. Oh, I forgot to grab this, though. Is there a bird over here as well? I don't see one. We've got a charge attack ready. Hmm. <laughs> that one just seems like it goes right past me. Alright, we don't... We can just auto them. Yeah, we're... They're, they're so squishy at this point. Hopefully I got some nice data. That went well, Captain. Hey, why are you why are you switching? Oh, okay. Okay, I jumped right back into that one. That was close. Oh, he's kind of, he's kind of still got. Okay, never mind. He's about to back out. Oh, these figures Way look excellent. Treasure. You kicked some real tail, Katra. Green metal, okay. Is that my first green metal, or have I had one? <sighs> and the platinum watch is... Yeah, speed and slow. No, I have three green metals. They seem good. Why don't? Why am I not putting them on? Honestly... It's only a few... Yeah, I lose 10 ATS. I, I think I might actually just put that on. She's turning into, like, a crit slash debuff. Just very quickly.
And these almost seem like green metal replacements. Yeah, you lose 1% but get resistances. Okay. Okay, we're putting green metals on them. It's 1%. It's fine. Okay. Fish. Done. <laughs> I didn't even break a sweat. A five star performance, Judah. Yes. Well, they're still giving a thousand. That's good. Uh, has. Yes. There are no more chests along the way. Wow. Oh, there she is! Thank goodness. She looks unharmed, too. What a relief. <sighs> she has no idea just how worried she's at us. Huh? That certainly looks like her, but... <sighs> Something's not right. Hmm. La, la, la. I'm starting to get used to this body. We must have a high affinity after all. I knew it. Hmm, perhaps she's... Stop right there. I mean, after multiple wrong guesses, I, I knew it. <laughs> oh, so this time you came to me instead of me coming to you, huh? You may? No, something about what she said makes me think. <gasps> My bad feeling was right on the mark, huh? It's you, isn't it? Mayor. <laughs> it sure is. I'd be more surprised if you didn't figure it out after I left that many clues. Mayor slash you, May. That's right. It's me, Mayor. I'm just borrowing this little one's body for a while. This is my first time trying something like this, so I wasn't sure it was going to work. We seem to be a perfect match for each other, so I can move however I want. <sighs> You're haunting her! Or more like you possessed her! So it seems. I don't know how this is even possible, but we can't deny what's in front of our eyes. All I can guess is that she performed a kind of biological hacking using the Zypha's resonance feature. What the... Sure. Is that even possible? I wouldn't rule the possibility out. Still, much like the Grendel, it would rely on technology far beyond what we currently have. Right. And I'm guessing it was made possible by... Well, we can have this conversation later. Right now, you need to give Yumes her body back. You belong in here. I mean, I could do that. But you don't need to be so bossy about it. This is my first time getting to experience the real world. What's wrong with me having a little fun? I bet that maid over there understands how I'm feeling better than the rest of you. Hmm. Certainly, I... Reset. Uh. Either way, regardless of how you did it, let me get this straight. The very thing I saw in the hotels taking control of that girl's body, right? It's all very well and good that you're having fun, but you shouldn't be having it if it's causing trouble for other people. So unless you want a good spanking, you give that body back right now. Judith. Y yeah she's right. And what are you going to do if I say no? Oh, if that's how you want to play, I'll make you give it back. Do that. What the? What? Come on. Figure she'd be able to use shards like a pro. Right, because she's able to rely on Van Zypha and a Genesis. Given how she is able to control the Grendel, she may be more proficient with shards than even I am. <laughs> I've always wanted to try playing tag, or whatever you call it. Here, kitty kitty. Catch me if you can. Then where do you think you're going? We've got to go after them. Right. Agnes, Katra, you two follow on after us. L right. Please, do what you can for Yume. <laughs> the chase is on. 
I mean, I like... I like Mare. But... I also don't think... Yeah, I, I agree. You, you just can't... You can't take over Yume. Regardless. That's just... That's just unacceptable. Uh... She's not a bad guy, right? I, I can't... I can't picture her being an actual bad guy. Better stay out of her way, or I'll tear them apart. I bet this is going to lead to... Are you done Certain talking? Look to be most effective. It's going to lead to us needing to find a body for her so she doesn't take other people over. That would be sweet. Because, you know. At the moment, we can't actually talk to, to Mary at all. Activating the skill but moving, she can't just take over you, man. So. You picked the wrong guy to fight. That's why there's no chests. Oh wait, there are no enemies either. Fun, man. They're not on the map. That's weird. Oh, I have the. Are you guys locked out? Oh, they did say follow up the. Does no one in my current party have? Switching the maintenance mode. No. Oh, I have treasure hunter. Don't worry. Citrus got your maintenance back. Mode. Maintenance mode activated. Switching to maintenance mode. Okay. Only Anya said Hawkeye. Okay. Well, either way, we have treasure hunter, so we know if we're missing actual things that are important. I don't care about seeing enemies on the map. I thought they just all disappeared for some reason. Charge attack ready. Initiating attack. You're gone. I'm not a star for nothing. Had to be the star of the show, eh, Judith? Oh no, a bird. It's okay. I can uh, I can do what I I've been doing, which is high speed mode. Dodge that in and that. Best way to take care of the birds. Shall I massage your shoulders, Miss Lanster? What is going on with your tail? Whoa! Look at that thing. I eagerly await your performance. That thing's got like its own complete model, physics model. Let's finish the job. Initiating skill. Have some more. Not a star for nothing. Had to be the star of the show, eh, Judith? Um, let me go this way quick. I don't think this is actually necessary, but gotta map all the areas. No mercy for you. They flip. I could probably kill him with this one. Follow up. There we go. I'm gonna need Mare to get back because I, I, I can't hear his current hollows. It's just so awkward. It just beeps. I can't believe it's possible to use shards with that level of skill. It's not for normal people. No normal human's capable of that. Uh, at this rate. Zeros! <laughs> Climb up behind me. You're light enough that it won't slow us down. Uh, okay. Hmm. Anyas, will you be all right? Yes, I think so. Hang tight, Anyas. Don't fall off. No. Oh, did they fly by us or something? Are they going ahead? Get to work. It wasn't really clear that from the cutscene. <laughs> nope, uh, dodge! Oh my god, there we go. She was. We got pretty low there. I have to be the star of the show, Stay still already! <laughs> you can't, you can't see. 
Okay, okay. I'm committing way too much to the attack. Way too much. I'll see if we get a death blow. We got a death blow. Damn. There we go. I could do better. It's weird having high speed on during these and then turning it off. I feel like the game's lagging. Like it's just super slow or something. Alright, we'll do a bam. That one. Time for the main Art it still missed the worm? Your turn, Judith! Initiating skill. Yeah, yeah. Have some more. Finish him, Van. <laughs> Have some more. Damn. Fast, Is that? Hey, that one felt pretty good. Great work, kiddo. You just skip the bird. Stop. Not that one deep. Alright, I don't know. I don't think I have anything to really think about here. Although, if there were any way to get a defense three. Is that what I'm working towards? A defense three and a action three? I'm gonna double check. Alright, done. Got a defense three and an action three in here, so now she has deadly lance two. So, that's good. Or, d deadly lance. Uh, which is, y you know, 100% chance. And then I also grabbed a Mine 3 and an Evade 3 because I could and got her Judgment Feather. So she will follow up quite often. She'll follow up to low health and follow up to 50% chance to follow up on attack arts. Which means two people in my party currently have that. I don't... I think both of them can proc, which would be pretty sweet. Or I don't know if it chooses one or not. I don't know. We'll see. But... She's going to be quite effective now. All right, I think we're good to go. I can barely keep up when she isn't using any muscle strength at all. That's enough messing around! Oh. Game's up, kiddo. Uh, You've played for long enough. <laughs> Finally got you. Ah, uh, come on! Five against one is no fair! Respect the rules of the game! <laughs> we never... <sighs> signed up for your stupid game in the first place. Now give Yume's body back! Please! No, that one's a fake. No oh, crud! Wait, how? how did she make a replica with shards that feels the same as the real thing? And that's a point for you, Van. The game's not over yet. Damn it! Give this shit up already. Hmm. We we still haven't caught her. You may. Well, Mayor, please just stop and listen to us. <sighs> Right. If that's how you want to play it! And I just cancelled my transformation too! Fine! Then I'll do it without! How... How was she able to do that? That's not even a shard thing, Boy, this is, is tons more fun than I thought it'd be! That economic activity called shopping was fun, too, even if it was a bit, uh, primitive. Dining to sustain your vital functions is probably my favorite part so far, though. Still, I guess I should probably give this body back and go back to how things were before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but before that, I was really curious about that thing. Yeah? Curious about what thing? 
So, you are some kind of spirit. <laughs> no human can move like that! That you knew of, but this one can. You're an intriguing little possessor. Is your host a customer at the Springs then? So, just what is it that's caught your interest up ahead? <laughs> that's enough of that. Uh-oh. Who is she? I... I don't know. But we owe her one for finally catching her. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. So, who are you? That's some outfit you're wearing. <laughs> Rich to comment on my clothes, considering how you were dressed earlier. A Tachi wielder, huh? Taking a not-so-wild stab in the dark here. You're this child's guardian of sorts. I'm not going to hurt her. You're more than welcome to take her home with you. I'd be happy to perform an exorcism here and now if you want me to, too. You see, that's another one of my specialties. <coughs> Wait! Please! Don't you do anything to her! We're fine, thanks. She's gonna need telling off, but we can handle that ourselves. You're no ordinary chick, are you? Hell, I get the feeling she's a monster among monsters. Her eastern tachi and cutting-edge fortified suit certainly suggest as much. Hmm... I think I like you people. Ugh. I know work can't always be fun. I was getting real bored up here. What do you say to a little sparring match against me? Mm -mm. Oh, and you can all come at me at once. Seriously, go for it. <sighs> <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. And yes, can you look after you, May? Mm. All right. Great. To keep it simple, I'm a Spriggan, and these are my employees from Arkwright Solutions over in the capital. I get the feeling I've heard rumors about you already. But. How about you introduce yourself? Sure. I don't see a problem with that. I'm gonna let them To say. also keep it simple, my name is Shizuna Ren Misarugi, and I'm second in command of Ikaruga. I'm also part of the Black God One Blade School. So, you all ready for a fight? Feared. Well, uh, wait a second. I, I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm lost. What's this about an Ikaruga and a Black God now? <sighs> I heard about them back home. Well, I've never heard of Black God, but that doesn't mean this is the first I've heard of a One Blade School. There are countless Jaegers competing in the wastelands of the East, but there's one group known to stand above all the rest. Ikaruga. A triple S-level Jaeger Corps, led by the Divine Blade of Silver. <laughs> well, you've got the spirit. Now to see if you've got the strength! Oh boy. Don't disappoint me now. I gotta be honest, though. Not getting free. Don't, don't just one chat. Okay, 750, that's fine. She probably is the most interesting looking character out of everyone. I love her outfit and and hair and everything so much. She's probably the most interesting looking to me. Um, I think we're... You know what? It's probably scaled correctly. and she's, It's going to stop at 50% HP. 251,000 though? Holy... You know what? Actually... It's going to be fun. But if Reen... If Reen struggled against her, I don't know. Although that wasn't a visual novel. <laughs> it's a d different world. Here goes. You can't Grendel, right? Yeah, no, this isn't a Grendel. Oh, no, no. Uh, Mayor's busy anyway. This will hurt. Pressure him and move it. Think fast. Take this. Now or never. I miss Mayor's dialogue. Damn it. Uh, let's go for ailment resistance on. Okay. 
Uh, that seems to have worked, but she's about to go next, so it doesn't matter. You know what? Do two of them. Boost gauge limiter removed. Activate skill. Boost gauge limiter removed. That wasn't that much. Ooh. Hang in there. Ready. Raging blooper. Do you Anyone get fro? Oh, Van got frozen. So who's out? Oh, I can use everyone. Oh. Okay then. Yeah, we'll move that. God, that move is so qu it's so fast. It just looks awesome. All right. It's kind of hoping I get a damage down on her, but it didn't drop. Ooh, there we go. You have a lot of health. Holy hell. Zero form. Ooh. You'll pay for that. Isn't that part of the visual novel? I believe there was a screenshot of her using duality or something. God, I can't remember. Um, get behind, do that. Your turn, Judith. Go, Grimcat. Hmm. I mean, I think our normal attacks also get buffs. Yeah. You. Energy output not Shield us. I have a feeling an S crash coming. I also kind of like her energy, too. She might... <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, did that go through my shield? I just put up a huge shield. Are you kidding me? Yeah. My god. I'll need some time to recover soon. This is Rez. I won't let this chance slip by. I screwed up. There we go. Uh, you back out. I need Katra in here. This will do the trick. Let's get another shield. Lapis <laughs> cold. Activate. Now or never. Initiating skill. There we go. Oh, she's stunned. Oh. I. I hate to do this. Come on. What are you doing? Because she might get employee of the month at this rate. I have to. One skill coming right up. Yay! First game. You know what you're doing. Boost your camp. Oh, she's not done. Oh damn. Right up. One skill coming right up. Now you don't. Dispatching shield. <laughs> Katra's just, just casually Here's checking on Fios. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back out for a minute. I'm gonna put the rest you in. Up to you. I'll take em. Come on, what are you doing? Quick. It's go time! Yes, Come on, gather upon me. Press an eye. Oh. Uh. Shit. I forgot what Crest and I did. Is, it, is that crit up or insight? It looks like insight on her buff bar. Shit. Does that count for magic as well? We'll find out. Well, that hit, so it didn't matter. Here it comes. God, that's a badass move. That's not even... That can't be an s craft, right? It didn't, like, cut away or anything? Fairy's dead. Rip. I don't have... I don't have CP. I, I mean, I guess... I'm just do this. 
It's fine. Let's go for that as well. Okay, thank God. Her normal autos just don't hurt. Uh, damage down, please. Think fast. Think fast. Hey. I'm sick. Zero form. Ooh. You're worst. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, fairy. Goodbye. Leave this to me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Keep it up. It's working. Yeah, that was. Cobalt cart. Activate. Cruising wind. She is so fast. Am I sealed? No, I'm frozen. Uh, this might not actually go off then. Okay, we got it. That's below half. Right? No, it's, that's a little above half. If this ends at half, then this would be good. Yes, that's what I like. Okay. That's how it goes. Ooh. Raging Buster. I can't hit R1 to turn off auto, though. Is it, is it stuck? Controller die. Uh, okay. <laughs> Holy hell! If we can just keep hanging in there! What? I think I'm at my limit here. Good, good. I'm genuinely impressed. I know my master warned me otherwise. But I'd be remiss as a divine blade if I didn't pay respect to your strength. Uh... Crap. Spirit unification. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's the famous. That's the master technique used by that new divine blade from the Empire. Oh, you know him. He started aiming to perfect his own potential, I believe. This is just my best attempt at replicating his technique. Still, mm. I do find it pretty comfortable to use. Now, will this be enough to get you to start going for broke? <laughs> she can't... <sighs> what is this woman? That's got to be the unclouded eye, letting her see things for what they truly are. Oh, I'm surprised you've heard of it. Get out of my head! <laughs> do, do we even stand a chance? Ugh, I cannot believe you people. Hmm? What are you doing? Get a grip already! Forgotten why we're even here? Our top priority is rescuing Yume. And since she's probably exhausted from having her body borrowed since last night, she needs to rest. Ah. A valid point. And you. I got a bone to pick with you. You might be really strong and perceptive, but if you're not out to kill us, maybe try reading the room before our minds. Divine Blade? That's sure an awesome sounding title that you're totally not living up to right now. <laughs> well, you got me there. <sighs> I'd written you off as some strange woman with some wackadoo fashion sense, but you really hit the nail on the head. That's some presence. Do you make a living on the stage or something? Well, it just so happens that I do. And who the hell are you calling strange with a wackadoo fashion sense? Um... Are we good to wrap this up now? Looks like we're done fighting either way. We only came here for a few days of R&R, &R, so we're off to the capital tomorrow. That means we don't care about you and your guys, or what you're doing in the middle of the mountains. Sounds like we're in a good place then. We're not here to fight against tourists from Long Lai. Our enemies are intruders who violate the soil of the Konlone Mountains with ill intent. Like our friend over there, for instance. Ooh. 
Damn. Didn't think anyone would notice me. I was gonna murder you all if the opportunity came knocking, but I guess it's not coming. <sighs> what a murderous aura. That isn't a shard camouflage. Ah, there he is. <sighs> not good. Easy now. I am looking for a fight. I'll admit I would have taken an opening if I saw one, but I got to see a hell of a fight, so I'd say I'm satisfied. <laughs> Almost can't wait until we meet next. Oh, that halberd and armor of yours are clearly something special. Yeah, I was thinking they're bound to be artifacts. You're one of them, aren't you? Wait! Are you one of the people who attacked Ida? Man, that flame eater was a fine woman. Real shame she got snuffed out like that. Oh boy. Ariok. I'm the overseer of the Garden of Rust. Ariok the Eradicator. Ariok. I'm also working with Almada's Dantes right now, as I'm sure you already caught on to. I hear you guys took real good care of Melchior and Olympia, huh? Yeah. Uh, why are you smiling at us like that? Wait, this isn't the same guy. He's kind of got a similar vibe, but I'm pretty sure the other guy had a beard. Or at least, at least a soul patch. This is, who, we, I don't think we've seen this guy. Come on. I already said the fight can wait until next time. Especially since it looks like we got ourselves a few more guests. <laughs> They're finally back. It's the other warriors of Ikaruga. A real gathering of powerhouses. You're all from the Rigetsu school, yeah? Nice of you to drop by. Well, time to get going. See you around, Spriggan. And you too, Silver. Like I said, the real fun will begin at our next play date. In a joyous carnival of blood and violence, the likes of which the world has never seen. Day break two? Wait a damn second! Oh, before I go, I heard you spitting fire earlier. And it was enough to make me hesitate on killing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing fingers, you'll take part in the carnival, too. Well, that's not a kind of teleportation I'm used to seeing. I would assume he used the power of his artifacts, which I suspect are. Yeah, he might just be the one we were warned about. Uh, I could really do without fans like him. I'm sure. Okay, looks like we really are done with fighting for today. And not a moment too soon. I'm about to crash, so if you could hurry up and get the hell out of here, that'd be great. Such impudence. No one speaks to our princess! Sure thing, Mr. Arkride. Or is it fine if I call you Van? I mean, if you want. Excellent. It was nice meeting the rest of you, too. Well then, until next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. The monsters on your path back have been slain and will not bother you. Farewell. Thank you. Um, I can't even bring myself to comment. Regardless, now we can finally get to what we came here for. Uh, I... Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry, okay? This was all my fault. It's all because of me, you almost had to fight a bunch of really dangerous people. I almost put this little one in danger, too. Look who's being so sincere all of a sudden. Though I think she's done too much to get away with just a sorry. We're not even the ones you need to apologize to. That said, we can tell that you didn't deliberately set out to cause trouble. You just wanted to know more about the world, and did it without thinking, didn't you? Well... Well... 
<sighs> I see now. <laughs> Still, try not to forget the trouble that you caused Yume. That works for you too, right, Van? Sure does. Oh, and don't just up and ditch my Zypha out of nowhere. I had to use another hollow, you know. How could you do that? I'm the only one allowed to... <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I can't complain when it was my fault. Ugh, fine. I get it. I know. I'll give this body back now. Just tell her sorry for me when you get a chance. <sighs> it's funny that I'd use the worst yeah. hollow as well. It really does seem like she used the resonance phenomenon in some way. But considering she was able to operate Yume's body remotely, she must be using orbital waves. Or septium veins, even. Oh, one last thing before you go. We get that you wanted to try a bunch of different things. But why'd you come all the way up here? Oh. Right. It's because further up the mountains, I sense... That might be something to keep in mind going forward. Maybe after the activation of... Well, that's fair. Three we could hollow these. system. Hollow MKESB004 Mare has been restored. Just had to tease us one last time before she went back, huh? I don't understand why we couldn't hear some of what she was saying. Yeah, what was that about? That really threw me for a loop. We know no more than you do, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh! Yume! <sighs> oh, morning, everybody! You feeling pooped at all, kiddo? Uh, or hungry? Do you hurt anywhere? Um, nope. I feel fine. Wait, but why are we outside? Wow! It's so pretty out here! Oh, Zeros and Vio are here too! Good morning, Yume. Uh, <laughs> well, shall we get back to Long Lai? That sounds like a plan to me. We should make sure everyone knows we found her first thing. And I should probably update my database with all this new information. Never a dull moment for you, huh? Maybe, but that goes for you, too. Thanks for all the help. I'll make it up to you sometime. By hiring you. 100%. Is this the end of the intermission, then? It has to be. That really felt like just a side thing, but also a lot. A lot of introductions. I A lot of it seems like it's queuing up for the next game like there's no way we're gonna like just suddenly confront all these people who just came up out of nowhere Th this whole game is obviously just set up for the next game uh which kind of has to be they're introducing a lot of stuff but that new guy i don't know why i thought he was the other guy but he definitely isn't the one who was with uh the that one girl who told us where yume was uh, uh, uh she she's never given her name clearly another garden person but they definitely still seem higher up. This guy was the leader of the Garden of Rust or something? What does... How many are there? After returning to Long Lai, they contacted everyone who had been helping with the search to let him know Yume was alright. After they had lunch together, they were then able to enjoy the remainder of their day in peace, enjoying the springs, massages, and more. Oh, Judas joined. Yeah, there's... She, she's getting hired. <laughs> also, Katra, I need to... What's going on with you? Can we, can we get... It's, it's going to be next game when we learn anything, I bet. Unless these guys are temporary, but no, this seems like the party probably going forward, I would assume. That night, they were all invited by the former president to his residence. Ooh. 
There, they enjoyed the finest in Far Eastern cuisine, crafted by none other than the head chef of the Heki Zanro Inn. I'm getting pretty hungry. Before they knew it, the second day of their stay in Long Lai had come to an end. a.m. The next morning, they enjoyed a relaxed breakfast before packing their belongings. Many of those they met during their stay came to the truck to bid them farewell. They then departed Long Lai, wishing they could stay a little longer. I do like the, the quick exit here, but like the good explanation of stuff. Because uh, at this point, we had kind of wrapped it up a little bit. We didn't really need to see a full cutscene here after. Uh, much like they, she had done on her way there, Judith planned to call a long-distance cab to take her back to Edith. However, upon Van's group's suggestion and Yume's insistence that she join them, she eventually gave in and agreed to do so. She insisted that she would, have to, she would repay them for that debt at some point in her usual stubborn way. But it goes without saying that they were having none of it, not after having uh, all she had done for them in the previous day. We know how you're going to repay the debt, quote unquote. I would be so surprised if they throw us for a loop at the end of this and she doesn't knock on the door at the end of this. Like, she has to. Four thirty-five. Look, there's the tower. That's right. That means we're almost home. Are you starting to think of Edith as home, fairy? <laughs> I guess I am. It was nice to get away for a while on our trip, though. The Orbital Network connection was a little slow, but the cozy atmosphere and delicious food more than made up for that. Oh, and the springs were relaxing too. So you did end up sneaking in all on your lonesome, huh? Lame. There's nothing better than hanging <laughs> out with the boys in a hot bath. <laughs> Why did what, they censor it? What are you talking about? Aaron! As in... roosters? Oh! Grandpa told me about farm animals! But I didn't see any chickens in the bath. Uh... Aaron's just talking nonsense again. Miss Perfect knows what I'm talking about. Bet you learned all about it in those raunchy gossip mags you like. Th those belong to my friends. Um, <clears throat> isn't it about time for you to kindly stop talking? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. She can be surprisingly forceful when she wants to be. I don't know. That was... Sheesh. We go on a trip and everything, and the youngsters have still got energy to spare. Oh, we really aren't as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as we used to be. Are we? Really? I think you two are plenty young yourselves. Mm, I guess. But lately it feels like I always tire out before Nina does. <sighs> Speaking of, I need to figure out where I'm going to stay tonight. Mm. What about your fancy condo near Treon Tower? Buzz Raiders paparazzi have been staking it out for a while now. They've even got eyes on Nina's place. It shouldn't be long until they get bored and move on to the next story. But until then, it's a pain in the neck for me. Tch, I'll do whatever it takes to eke out a win over Meld. Would you like me to find you a secure hotel to stay in during the interim? You'd do that for me? Please, and thank you. Any chance I could convince you to become my manager? <laughs> you flatter me. Unfortunately, I am already on loan to Arkwright Solutions for my employer, as it is. Hey, we're trying to poach my people. Hmm? What's wrong? There is heavier than usual traffic up ahead. I wonder why. I wonder if something's happening inside the capital. Uh oh. End of it, intermission. Everything gets crazy for a chapter, I've never seen a final so chapter. Many cars in my whole life. What a pain in the ass. How much longer are we going to be stuck here? Are the Edith freeways always so busy around this time? Not usually, no. 
It is rush hour right now, but the traffic's almost never this backed up. Well, it can be if there's been an accident. Oh, what are we listening to? The news. I want to see if something happened. Really? We don't have confirmation yet? Then should we even be reporting on this? Well, I guess people do have a right to know, given that... Oh, wait, are we on? Um, we have breaking news this evening. Although this information has not yet been confirmed, it is believed that the Northwestern... What did you say? They contacted us? Uh, our apologies. We have been given reason to doubt the veracity of tonight's report. Further details will be delivered in the 7 p.m. broadcast. You didn't report. What the hell was that about? Huh? What's going on? I, I don't know. But whatever that was, it didn't sound good. No, it did not. Reset, Katra. Can you check the net? We might learn something there. I suppose it's worth a try. I will check every new site. One moment. I'll see if Nino or my agency knows what's up. I'm not getting any service out here. I tried reaching out to Ren, but the call's not going through. That's weird. Hmm? What's this? Van, I just sent something your way. You know the drill. Hope all's well with you. Let's go for a drink at Bermani's again sometime, all right? Huh. Looks like he sent me another encrypted file through the cloud. I'll need to open it the usual way. Have to save this for later, though. Wait, what? No. That sounds important. It looks like access to the Orbal network is being restricted. And it's not just a problem for Edith. This is a country-wide issue. Oh, through, through the I, I guess he has to save it. Like, physically has to. Right. <laughs> Definitely not normal. You can say that again. This is stupid. Maybe Heiyue has some way around it. Do you know what they're talking about, Fairy? No clue. This is all going right over my head. Two minutes later? Or is that... Oh, they, they did make it back. Okay. Oh, you may. Thank Adios, you're back. Huh? What's wrong, Mommy? Welcome home, all of you. I am so relieved to see you're safe. I is everything all right? Come on now. This isn't like you. W what happened? Why does everyone look so serious? An orbital radio? Oh, wait. Is everyone gathered for the announcement mentioned earlier? Yes, so. Then the official announcement must be coming from... Van... Mariel? Oh, it's you. Uh, Don't. Wait. What's wrong? D Dingo's. Dingo, he's... What about him? I did get a message from him earlier. It's about to start. Those rumors can't be true, right? That... Ale... That... Just shut up and listen. Huh? Here it comes. Good evening. Today's 7 p.m. news will begin with an emergency announcement. This announcement is being brought to you by none other than the presidential office. We ask that you listen closely. I bring you this emergency announcement from the presidential office in Edith's Von Tai district. Oh, is it that? Hold up a sec. Isn't that the Specs voice? Yeah. As President Grampart is engaged with time-sensitive matters, I, Kincaid, will be speaking on his behalf as his provisional aide. This is an announcement that deeply pains me to make, and one that will be equally painful to hear. Dingo went... He went to Cray yesterday. He'd found a new lead, you see. One that said the Mafia was going to do something awful. Before dawn today, in the Vichy County in Northwest Calvert, the village of Cray was engulfed in a monumental explosion from an unknown weapon. Huh? Oh. That can't mean... I... I wanted to go and see what he was doing. 
The whole area was blocked in traffic, and my editors wouldn't let me go either! The village and its surroundings were completely annihilated. There are believed to be no survivors. Uh. Oh no! Cray? I gotta turn that off quick. Oh shit. All of Cray. We haven't been there since the Truly beginning. Well but... done. Then I'll update your rank. Hold on. There we go. Now it's off. That that was a lot of bombshells in there. Jesus. Sounds like a literal one. Uh I still don't bite. But obviously. We talked to Dingo right before, and he said, "If I, if I," and it just kept cutting off. So the red, the red flags were obviously there, but but this is trails. I, we didn't see a body. Everyone's believed to be dead. Dingo, Dingo's alive somewhere. He's got to be. There's no way. I'm actually going to keep denying that. There's there's no way I'll accept that he's actually dead. But, ah, uh. got it. Oh, well, that's good for Van. Okay. <laughs> Can't complain with that. Got an ass. I, oh man, I just want to start the next episode. I want to start the next episode simply because I I have no idea what this weapon could be. Uh, I know we've had various weapons that are capable of doing that in the other games. Who knows what this is? But if it can take out the whole village, then... I wonder if it's going to target Longport next and then Basil and everywhere we've gone. That would be insane. But I also would like to actually see the damage done. I don't know if they're actually going to show it to us or if it's just a big hole in the ground, whatever's going on there. Damn. This was inevitable. This was inevitable. I went out of my way for that one. So she's hired, right? <laughs> I'm Judith Lanster. And you can rest easy, because now you're working with a real pro. Okay, at least they switched it up. It wasn't just a normal peaceful day. We're at that point where we've had the, all the peaceful moments. Big, big stuff happened, and she really, she has to stick with us now to solve whatever is going on here. So this, they didn't, she didn't officially join, but according to this, you know, she will have. All right. Damn. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to somehow take a break because i have to right now and wait to record the next episode but i'm gonna dread it i'm just i have so many things that i immediately am are in my head about what could happen next and i'm like all right is that gonna happen i i, I just need to know and and nope i gotta wait so all right in the next episode we get to finally start chapter five and it kind of sounds like everything's coming to a flip side as soon as I change, I usually change the logo when, like in, in Reverie, when it got to the big important stuff, uh, that the big this kind of stuff going on, uh, I, that I decided to switch the logo. So the next ones may seem like they're a little strange at first. Well, you know, the, the, the thumbnails because they're going to be, I'm switching them to red. But it is the same playlist. It is the same playlist. But we're entering whatever this is, so... I'm assuming finale, or damn near finale at the least. So that's it for this. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.